All right, well, I heard yesterday's Zordal was cute, and then I've also heard that today's Zordal was a fun theme, so both sound interesting. I'm excited to do both of them. I'm gonna do a double Zordal. So on the left there is yesterday's Zordal, April 20th. That is apparently cute. And on the right is today's Zordal, the 21st, which apparently is fun. So we've got cute and we've got fun. I don't know what they are because I've got hard mode turned on as you can see. So if you're not familiar with Zordal, by the way, this is like Wordle, uh, but there's two words and they're laid on the same grid and I'm doing essentially four words because I've got two versions up. And normally you get a starting word at the top here, but I have hard mode on so they are grayed out and we will reveal one letter at a time as we make our first five guesses. So there we go, that's about all we need to know. So um, let's start, let's start with cutes. Why not? We, we heard it was a cute theme. Cutes is a five letter word. Sure. Okay. Ooh, and we got a, a yellow L. That's interesting. So we'll do cutes over here. Okay. Yep. Just making sure everything looks right on the screen there. Okay. Uh, oh, we got a yellow G. Okay. So, so, um, we want to reuse letters as much as possible. Uh, glute. I think we could just do glute, right? Oh, but that does the G in the same spot. Oh man. That's so close to being really good. Uh, we could do we could do something like flute uh, and just not You know, we won't check the G, but that's that's still okay. We'll do that. Oh, oh, well, that was really good Okay, very good, and we got to do flute over here, which the U and the T aren't helpful. Oh, and we still don't have the E. Okay Interesting well, we've got more on the left so far now. We still don't have the E on either word look at this both both words He is not worth the fifth um, unfortunately, we revealed gray vowels on both of them, but they're not the same ones. So now we want to guess the O on the right, and we want to guess the A on the left, but <laughs> it's not any good for the other one. Uh, we obviously want to do the E somewhere else. Uh, the G would be good, the T, the G is good on the right, we haven't checked the G on the left, so it'd be good to do a G for sure. Um, something like Eagle, but... We don't want to do the L, and we don't want to do an E at the end. Uh, e, E, Ger, no. Um, what about, what about began? That's not too bad. New spot for the E for both words. Check a G on the right, and, and see if there is a G on the left. B's not great, but, I mean, you know, it's not terrible. And N is a good letter, so why not? Okay, no B, and that's not surprising. Oh, there's a B over there! Wow, okay. Uh, we didn't find the G yet, though. We still haven't found the E. We did find the E over here, at least. So, 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 one of the words is either F-L or F-E. It's not going to be F-E-U, probably. Feuds or something, but it's probably not F-E. So if it's F-E, I don't think it's going to be the U. If it's F-L, it could be the U. It could be a lot of things. Fluff for one. <laughs> Clearly not guessing that at this point. Uh, what's this gonna be? Love? Loves? Loved? Lover? Something? And this could be games or gamed or gamer. Hmm. So, um, what would that be? So the two answers are usually related to the starting word. So if it's games or gamer or gamed or something. Um, so one of the words starts with a B, one starts with a C. Oh, so we know where the E is now. The E has to be third. Because it can't be first, and we've already got yellows in second, fourth, and fifth. Okay, and the G is not going to be second. It's not going to be BG or CG. Uh, chess? Chess would work. Chess would work for, for games. Um, it's pretty good. If we did chess, the other word would have to have the B and the N and the G. And it can't have A or U or E, so it would have to have I or O. Um, bing, bingo! Bingo! Bingo and chess? Those are both games. That's pretty good. Now, bingo is not very good for the left side because we already know there's no B, N, G, or O, just the I. 
would be possible there. Um, chess isn't great either because there's no C. We know where the E is. There's no S. So again, just the H is the helpful one. And the H couldn't be second even if it is in one of the words. All right, I'm thinking bingo and chess on the right. On the left, so if it's loves or lover or loved or something, what would that be? If it's F-E, I keep, I keep going back to this F-E, because I'm thinking, my, my instinct is to do F-L, but that could just be because it's written right there, and so it just looks... What would that be? Okay, we need to find a T still. Uh, so, if it was... F E and it had a T in it, the T would have to be at the end. And at this point, I don't think the E and the U go together. Even if it's not F, I don't think the E and the U are going together because we only have I left for a vowel to check. So I feel like the U and the E are going to be in different words, which means it's L U. So. What would come at the beginning? We can't do a B, we can't do an S. It's not gonna be T. Yeah, it almost would have to be the F. I mean, fluff is kind of what I'm coming back to, actually. If it was fluff, then the other one would have to be the E and a, either a T at the end or the beginning. And we either have, we could have a double E, something like this, potentially. Otherwise, I is the other potential vowel. Something... I-T? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It could be T-E. What would that be? T-E-E -E would even work. Or, or we could have a... a ooh! Uh, ooh! Teddy! and fluff, and it's lovey. That's what it's gonna be, isn't it? Okay, so we're doing bingo and chess, and teddy and fluff. That's that's what I'm thinking. Let's go with teddy. Teddy and fluff, and it's lovey. Very nice. And this is bingo, oop, let's spell it right, bingo, and chess, and games. Very nice, all right. All right, and there we have our pictures. So, Lovey equals Teddy plus Fluff. Very nice, Teddy Bear, submitted by Awesome Fun Moms. Good idea, Awesome Fun Moms. That was a cute puzzle, as someone said. And then Games equals Bingo plus Chess, which was submitted by Yoshi64. Um, and I guess this is like a bingo chess board? I don't know, interesting. Interesting picture. I'm not sure what the things can't quite tell what the the things written on the board are maybe those are like the bingo calling things and then the pieces are interesting we've got like chess pieces around the outside but they're all pawns and then in the middle we've got like I don't know weird looking partial chess pieces that are also like bingo markers I guess I don't know interesting picture so the pictures are created by uh, an AI so you get some weird things sometimes but there you go all right, so a cute puzzle and a fun puzzle. Together you get, I guess, a lot of cute fun. I don't know. Anyways, let me know how you did with yesterday's Zordal, today's Zordal, and if you thought they were cute and fun as well, and be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. In the next inning, he was on deck when the manager informed him he had just been traded to the Montreal Expos. Now, the Expos oh, had a oh, game oh. later that evening. Replacement. I was just thinking about words that could end with M-E-N-T. Oh, it's not shall. So one of the L's has to be the lie. So feel or feeling, I think feeling, because I think it's gonna be develop, or maybe develops with the S there.